President uh, Petrushenko, it's a pleasure to uh, welcome you personally in Jerusalem. Uh, the histories of uh, the Ukrainian people and the Jewish people are intertwined for over a thousand years. It's a history that encompasses uh, both great accomplishment as well as enormous tragedy. Uh, I have to tell you that some of Israel's uh, greatest literary, f literary figures were born in uh, the Ukraine including our national poet, our Shakespeare, uh, Chaim Nachman Bialik, who came from the Ukraine, uh, the Nobel uh, laureate, writer, Shai Agnon, came from the Ukraine. Uh, some of our greatest rabbis were born in the Ukraine, including Rabbi Nachman of Breslov and Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schnelser, the Lubavitcher rabbi, who I had the great privilege of uh, knowing personally, had many discussions with him. Uh, some of Israel's uh, foremost Political leaders were born in the Ukraine, including three of my successors, uh, Prime Ministers Moshe Sharet, Levi Eshkol, and Golda Meir. And uh, no less important for me, the great uh, Zionist leader, Zev Jabotinsky, uh, was also born in the Ukraine. He's uh, a tremendous moral and political authority that resonates through the ages, resonates for me every day. So you can understand why many Israelis, uh, like me, uh, feel personally connected to your country. Uh, every year, tens of thousands of Israelis uh, visit the Ukraine. Even more Ukrainians visit Israel. And that came after my government decided to cancel uh, the uh, visas. Uh, and uh, this was met uh, by a similar decision by the government of Ukraine. And this led to a boom in uh, tourism. Uh, but tourism is only one aspect uh, of the ever-expanding relationship between our two countries. Uh, we cooperate in culture and in agriculture, in trade and investment, in science and technology, in health and medicine. And our cooperation in these and other areas, I think, brings tangible benefits to both our peoples. Uh, Mr. President, I want to uh, commend you uh, personally for your resolute stance against uh, uh, racism and anti-Semitism. Uh, I think that uh, uh, this has a special meaning for us in principle, but also in relation to the large Jewish community that uh, lives in Ukraine and for which uh, we have special uh, regard and warmth and close connections. Uh, we've agreed uh, to commemorate the 75th uh, anniversary of the massacres of the Jews at Babi Yar. And I think that by learning the lessons of the past, we help to ensure a better future. Uh, finally, Mr. President, your uh, visit comes at a special time in the Holy Land, just before Christmas. I know that in uh, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, uh, Christmas is celebrated according to the Julian calendar in January. But nevertheless, I want to take this opportunity to wish you and the Ukrainian people a joyous Christmas. I wish to take this opportunity and wish Christians everywhere a Merry Christmas. And you know, Mr. President, in the Middle East, Israel is one of the few countries, i even say probably the only country, in which Christians can uh, be free, uh, can uh, worship openly, safely, proudly. They can celebrate uh, this important holiday and other holidays at any time with no fear. Uh, I know uh, many uh, Ukrainians will be celebrating uh, Christmas uh, along with them. Uh, I wish them all the best. And Mr. President, once again, welcome to Jerusalem. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.